peer coaching, the daily coaching process. I'm often asked the question, hey, people think you're a coach. Do you have a coach yourself? Yes, I do have a coach. My coach is my good friend, Jim Moore. Jim is from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I'm from Valley Station, Kentucky. We grew up near each other. Jim is a former chief learning officer of Sun Microsystems at Nortel, Bell South. Great guy, great friend of mine. Jim Moore and I have a wonderful daily question process that we use with each other. Now, we don't connect every day. We probably average 70, 80% of the day, so. And it is amazing how well this process works. I'll first teach you the questions that I use, or some of them, and then I'll talk about a little of what Jim does, how we've helped out each other, and finally, more important, how you can write the questions that are most important for you. First, each question is yes, no, or a number. This whole process takes about three minutes. It doesn't take much time at all to do. So if you say you don't want to do this, it's not a matter of time. It's just a matter of courage and discipline. My friend Jim asks me 24 daily questions. What is the first question he asks me every day? How happy were you yesterday? How happy were you yesterday? On a one to 10 scale, I'm a fortunate person. I don't have to work. I live in a nice place. I've got a nice wife. I've got nice kids. I love my work. If I wasn't happy, whose fault was it? That would be my fault. I could blame other people for my lack of happiness. That's pretty weak. That's my fault. Every day, a little reminder. How happy were you on that one to 10 scale? 10 is the highest, one is the lowest. Another question. How many times did you try to prove you were right when it wasn't worth it? Unfortunately, the answer is seldom zero. Another question. How many minutes did you watch TV? If you ever fly on the plane, you get off in that hotel room, you're easy to click on the TV, you're watching some stupid made-for-TV show about some mother killing her cheerleader daughter's friend for two hours, and you get done, and why did I do that? By the way, I gave this example in one class. A guy in the corner raised his hand and said, I watched the stupid movie twice. I said, why'd you watch it twice? He said, I don't know. It was idiotic the first time. Well, it's just hypnotic. If you knew someone's going to ask you how many minutes you watch TV, you wouldn't watch the stupid show. How many minutes did I walk? How many push-ups? How many sit-ups did I do? Questions about diet. How much did I drink? And again, I'm not evaluating you, what you should do, but my goal is two. Two's not bad. Twenty's not too good. Questions about diet. How much did I weigh? How much do I weigh? All kinds of interesting questions about life. Did I say or do something nice for my daughter, my wife, my son? Even my wife has a question for me. I ask her, if you had to have one question you'd like Jim to ask me every day, what question would you want me to ask? To be a better husband. You know what my wife said? Did you pick up after yourself today? I doubt I'm the only husband in the world that would get this question. Every day, Jim asks me these questions. Every day, I get these reminders. It only takes a little bit of time, and it works. I also ask him questions. Jim doesn't have to work, and he has a lot of questions that really focus on challenging him. Did I read something serious today? Did I learn something today? Did I practice something today? Did I reach out to my friends? Did I reach out to my family? He might tell you this process saved his life. One question I ask him is, every day, are you updated on your physical exam? He said, no, 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 no. One day he said, I'm sick of saying, no, I got a physical. The doctor said, you have cancer. Fortunately, he's going to be fine. The doctor also said, if you'd waited a long time, you might have died. Well, I don't think I have to sell him on the value of this process. He asks questions about his friends, his family, reaching out. And everybody I've talked to that does this, and it was taught to me by my friend Andrew Thorne, says it works great. So here's what's important, not my questions or Jim's questions. I want you to imagine that somebody's going to call you up on the phone every day. That person's going to ask you questions. Every question is yes, no, or one to 10, or one to 100, to number, something quick. What questions would you want that person to ask you? I've asked thousands of people to fill out these questions. It's fascinating to listen to what they write. What's great about this exercise is every day it forces you or me to confront our own values and to ask ourselves an important question. Do we believe this stuff or not? If we believe it, do it. If you don't believe it, take it off the list. Quit kidding yourself. Quit planning to work out. Quit planning to write a book. Quit planning to do all this stuff. This really gets you to focus on not am I planning to do it, am I doing it?